In the shadowy corners of our world, hidden amongst the clutter, lurks the Black Widow Spider. Its name evokes danger, a whispered warning of venomous power. This eight-legged marvel draped in jet black silk has captivated and terrified humankind. Stories painted as a ruthless predator with a fatal bite. But beyond myths lies a fascinating creature with a vital role in our ecosystem. Join us as we delve into the captivating world of the Black Widow Spider. The Black Widow Spider, easily identified by the distinctive red hourglass marking adorning its abdomen, is a sight that simultaneously fascinates and frightens. This vibrant marking serves as a warning, a beacon to potential predators signaling danger. It is a symbol of potent venom, a defense mechanism honed over millennia. But the Black Widow's fearsome reputation extends beyond its venomous bite. It is a creature of remarkable hunting prowess, weaving intricate webs to ensnare its prey. The life cycle of the Black Widow spider is a fascinating journey of metamorphosis and survival. It begins with hundreds of tiny eggs encased in a silken nursery and culminates in the emergence of skilled predators. Each stage is fraught with challenges, a balance between growth and survival. Join us as we unravel the secrets of the Black Widow's life cycle. Our journey into the life cycle of the Black Widow spider begins with the egg sac. Crafted from strong silk, the egg sac showcases the female Black Widow's maternal instincts. It is a fortress designed to protect her offspring. The pear-shaped sac is a marvel of natural engineering. Inside, hundreds of tiny eggs await their moment to enter the world. The female Black Widow fiercely protects her brood. She will fend off threats, her venomous bite a potent deterrent. For weeks, she stands guard, ensuring the safety of her developing offspring. Within the silken egg sac, a silent transformation is taking place. The tiny Black Widow embryos are developing at a remarkable pace. Each day brings them closer to hatching as spiderlings. The incubation period varies with temperature and humidity. Typically, it lasts between two to four weeks. The eggs undergo developmental stages, their bodies taking shape. Spiderlings become more active, visible through the eggshells. They twitch and push, preparing to hatch. The female Black Widow senses the impending arrival of her offspring. She becomes increasingly protective and vigilant. The moment of hatching is pivotal for a Black Widow spider. It marks the transition to a world teeming with predators and danger. The spiderlings are incredibly vulnerable. They are tiny with soft and delicate exoskeletons. They rely on instincts to navigate this dangerous environment. Their first challenge is escaping the egg sac. Using fangs and claws, they tear at the silken walls. The female black widow does not assist in their escape. Their survival depends entirely on their own abilities. Imagine emerging into the world not onto solid ground, but onto a sea of shimmering silk. This is the reality for newly hatched Black Widow spiderlings. These silken threads, though seemingly delicate, provide a crucial lifeline. They offer a temporary haven amidst the chaos of the outside world. The spiderlings instinctively grasp onto the silk, swaying gently in the breeze. The instinct to survive is strong, even in creatures as small as Black Widow spiderlings. Within days of hatching, their hunger drives them to explore beyond the familiar confines of their silken nursery. They begin to venture out, their tiny legs carrying them across the vast expanse of their mother's web. This is a perilous journey for the spiderlings. The world outside their silken haven is a dangerous place filled with predators eager to devour them. Insects much larger than themselves, birds with keen eyesight, and even other spiders pose a constant threat. To navigate this hostile environment, the spiderlings rely on a combination of instinct and learned behavior. They are born with an innate ability to spin silk, and they quickly learn to use this silk to their advantage. They spin delicate strands that trail behind them, creating safety lines that allow them to retreat from danger. They also exhibit remarkable agility, their tiny legs capable of surprisingly quick movements. They can dart between strands of silk, disappearing into crevices and under leaves, effectively evading predators many times their size.
Despite their small size and vulnerability, black widow spiderlings are born hunters. They possess the same venomous bite as their parents, albeit in a much weaker form, and they quickly learn to use this venom to subdue their prey. Their prey consists of tiny insects, often even smaller than themselves. They target fruit flies, gnats, and other minute arthropods that become entangled in their mother's web. The spiderlings, using their keen eyesight and sensitive hairs, detect the vibrations of these trapped insects. Once they locate their prey, the spiderlings spring into action. They scurry across the web, their movements swift and precise. Upon reaching their victim, they use their tiny fangs to inject a paralyzing dose of venom, effectively subduing their meal. The spiderlings then use their silk to wrap their prey, further immobilizing it and preventing its escape. They feed by injecting digestive enzymes into their victim's body, liquefying its internal organs, and then consuming the resulting nutrient-rich broth. The life of a black widow spiderling is a constant struggle for survival. The dangers they face are numerous, and only a small fraction of each egg sac will reach adulthood. Predation, starvation, and even sibling cannibalism are constant threats. One of the most significant dangers facing spiderlings comes from their own kind. Black widow spiders are not social creatures and sibling cannibalism is not uncommon. Larger, stronger spiderlings will often prey on their smaller, weaker siblings, especially when food is scarce. In addition to predation, spiderlings must also contend with the ever-present threat of starvation. Securing a meal is a constant challenge and many spiderlings succumb to hunger, especially during periods of cold weather or when insect prey is scarce. Those spiderlings that survive these early challenges undergo a series of molts, shedding their exoskeletons as they grow larger and stronger. With each molt, they resemble their adult forms more closely, their venomous fangs developing further, and their hunting skills becoming more refined. The journey from spiderling to adulthood is a perilous one a testament to the resilience and adaptability of these fascinating creatures. Growth for a black widow spiderling is not a gradual, seamless process. It's a series of dramatic transformations, each marked by a critical event molting. Imagine a suit of armor too rigid to allow for expansion, yet essential for protection. This is the dilemma of a spiderling's exoskeleton. Molting, the shedding of this exoskeleton, is a fascinating and somewhat unnerving spectacle. It's a vulnerable time for the spiderling, a period where it's exposed and defenseless. The process begins with the spiderling becoming inactive, its normally vibrant black and red hues appearing duller. Beneath the old exoskeleton, a new larger one is forming. The spiderling secretes a fluid that separates the old exoskeleton from the new, creating a space for the molting process to occur. This separation is gradual, often taking several days to complete. During this time, the spiderling is extremely vulnerable. It seeks shelter in a secluded part of its web or a nearby crevice, avoiding any unnecessary movement that could attract predators. It's a waiting game, a test of patience and resilience. The actual molting process is a slow, deliberate act. The spiderling, hanging upside down from a silken thread, begins to contract its body rhythmically. These contractions create pressure, forcing the old exoskeleton to split open along its seams. The split typically starts near the head region, gradually extending down the spiderling's body. It's a delicate operation with the spiderling carefully maneuvering its limbs free from the confines of its old skin. Imagine trying to wriggle out of a wetsuit that's shrunk in the wash. It's a tight squeeze requiring considerable effort and flexibility. As the spiderling sheds its old exoskeleton, its new soft exoskeleton is exposed. It takes several hours for the new exoskeleton to harden and darken, during which time the spiderling remains vulnerable to predators and even minor injuries. This molting process is repeated multiple times throughout the spiderling's journey to adulthood. With each molt, the spiderling grows larger, its markings become more pronounced, and its venomous bite becomes more potent. Each successful molt brings the Black Widow Spiderling one step closer to adulthood, and with each transformation comes increased hunting prowess. They've graduated from minuscule insects to larger prey, their webs becoming more intricate, their strategies more refined, their venom, 
once weak and only effective against the tiniest of victims, now packs a more potent punch. They can tackle larger insects like flies, crickets, and even grasshoppers. Their patience is remarkable, waiting for the precise moment to strike, minimizing their risk and maximizing their reward. Their web building skills also improve dramatically. What were once simple, haphazard webs now display an elegant complexity. The classic orb weaver design with its concentric circles and radiating spokes becomes a masterpiece of silken engineering. Each strand is strategically placed, maximizing the web's ability to trap unsuspecting prey. They've become masters of their domain, their movements confident, their presence a silent threat in the shadowy corners they inhabit. The transformation from vulnerable spiderling to adept predator is nearly complete. The final molt marks the Black Widow's transition to adulthood. The female's red hourglass and the male's pronounced stripes signal maturity. The stage is set for the next chapter reproduction. Adulthood shifts priorities to reproduction. The male's quest for a mate is perilous while the female awaits suitors. The male's approach is a delicate balance of caution and boldness. The male's courtship is a dance of instinct and fear. He plucks the web, signaling his intentions. Success hinges on interpreting the female's cues. Successful courtship leads to mating. The male transfers sperm swiftly, then often flees. The female stores the sperm, ensuring future offspring. Weeks after mating, the female creates an egg sac. She guards it, often foregoing hunting. Her sacrifice ensures the survival of her offspring. The Black Widow relies on stealth and cunning. Its web, a tangle of threads, is a trap for prey. The spider detects vibrations, preparing for the kill. The Black Widow's venom is a potent weapon. It paralyzes prey and deters predators. While dangerous, bites to humans are rarely fatal. The Black Widow thrives through various adaptations. Its senses detect opportunities and dangers. Its resilience allows it to survive in diverse environments. The Black Widow plays a vital role in its ecosystem. It controls insect populations, maintaining ecological balance. Its story is a testament to adaptation and survival. The Black Widow's life is a story of survival. From spiderling to adult, it navigates a world of danger. Its legacy is secured through cunning and resilience. The Black Widow's fearsome reputation is often exaggerated. It prefers to avoid confrontation, using venom primarily for prey. Understanding its role helps replace fear with respect. The Black Widow Spider, a creature of shadow and silk, reminds us that every organism, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, plays a crucial role in the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems. Their presence, often unnoticed in the hidden corners of our world, is a testament to the interconnectedness of all living things. Their webs, intricate traps meticulously crafted from silken threads, capture insects that might otherwise proliferate unchecked. Their venom, a potent cocktail of neurotoxins not only subdues their prey, but also serves as a deterrent to predators, ensuring their survival in a world filled with threats. Their life cycle, a journey of transformation and resilience, highlights the power of adaptation and the enduring strength of instinct. From the vulnerable spiderlings emerging from their silken nursery to the mature females guarding their precious egg sacs, each stage of their life is a testament to the power of natural selection. The Black Widow Spider, a creature often feared and misunderstood, deserves our respect and appreciation. It is a vital thread in the intricate tapestry of life, a reminder of the beauty, complexity, and interconnectedness of the natural world.